All right. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what happens next. I hope we see more lightsabers in Darth Vader, and I hope everyone says hello there. Oh Damn it, God. like, only half the farts I did came through. What is that? That's just I, didn't I didn't hear any. Well, I didn't hear any farts. Yeah. I saw a green circle for two of them, I think, but oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't hear Maybe. You at all. No fart noises. Is there like a particular style I can do that'll make it come through? A style that came through. That one. That one came through. <laughs> Excitement. <laughs> well, I figure farts are a good way to start this off, considering the last episode we just watched. I Did say those just. Yeah. It's this just is also how one. I feel right now. Oh, because if you thought... I wasn't. It's fine. Just talk over me. It's okay. Aww. I'm enthusiastic. I'm sorry, Metal. He's crying now. Nice one. He's like always the crying. He's a with pussy. The, with the... Oh my god. See, you... I'm, 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 now I'm leaving. I'm Bullying. gonna go pee or something. Bullying. So we're here for episode four of Kenobi. We did three already. That was pretty tough, we're wasn't it? it we're, tough? We're you didn't love halfway. it? They know what they're doing, Leia. I didn't love it, Rags. I didn't. So this is the halfway point, or we just crossed it? There's six, we got, right? We, we got three more episodes. Yeah, I guess you could say we are it's currently only... at the halfway point. Mm. We won't be oh, for like long. We are, yeah, but we are bridging the halfway point currently. Yeah. I, a lot of people... I saw a lot of people liked episode three. It was just the impression I got based on social media reactions. A lot of yes. people really liked when he put him in the fire, which is, <sighs> man, like, that's pretty, that's, that is pretty disappointing. Um, that kind of upsets me a bit. I love that he just, like, <laughs> uses the force to just, like, spread all of this flammable material on the ground. Because it's like, I, I thought we could all appreciate how yeah. stupid this is. And then he's just gonna literally rub Obi-Wan's face in it <laughs> while he's on fire. That's just misunderstanding who he is. <laughs> that's, that's what Darth Vader wants to do. And it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit disappointing that so many people thought that that was a great thing that he would absolutely do. And it's perfect. Yeah. Feels like one of those moments where it's like, oh, we don't like this for the same reason. I thought we did, but like, mm -hmm. I, I, maybe we didn't like this character for the same reason. Um, oh yeah, definitely that. People debating whether or not it was in character a lot in even our audiences, totally out of, but uh, out of the general audiences like, are just loving it. Just like, I would expect you wanted to kill him. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that's that's what I figured he would want to do. I figured he would do what we saw him do in episode four, which is just kill him. I was uh, at this wedding last night, and someone brought it up to me specifically, and it was like, uh, what, why? Burning, burning him. <laughs> it was just like, oh, it's great. Like, Leia is great. And I was like, no, it's trash. <laughs> but I was way too smashed to actually argue anything. I was like, yeah, it's fine. I thought you were going to say something. you were so trash that you did argue it. Like, because normally you don't. <laughs> You'd be like, you know what? Fuck you. No shit. <laughs> You're the I, fucking problem. <laughs> I got. I gotta say, this is probably gonna be the most painful of these shows. I think Boba Fett was funny. And your inventory is water. Yes, I grew up surrounded by water. Um, and <laughs> how I bad it was. Mando, it was pretty funny. Yeah, and Mando, Mando was like disappointing in terms of like the mm. the potential of that as an idea that getting squandered. But there's not that much to get super invested in. Whereas here, it's like, oh, these are characters this one's I a like. Little... Enraging, yeah. It is disappointing though because the more I think about it, the more I realize that you really there is a story to tell in this period for Obi Wan, but it's just not the kind of story that was probably ever going to get made because you need marketing material and you need people swinging their lightsabers, lightsabers, <laughs> lightsabers, <laughs> using the Force and going to crazy planets instead of which is kind of funny because I'm sick of Tatooine, but like this is probably the one series where he never should have left Tatooine. Yes, yes, yeah. 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 Mandalorian could have gone to literally had no reason to ever go to Tatooine. It didn't need to be there. Boba Fett well, like, for, uh, maybe could have maybe. I more sense to be on Tatooine a bit, but like every episode, episode could one, be on maybe. a different planet. I don't, I don't know that Boba Fett. This is what I mean. I don't know why Boba Fett would have any. Oh, that's right, because he lived with the Tuscans. <laughs> like that's well, why. Well, no, because he, he was to... eaten by. Oh, a yeah, I was gonna say, get out of the su episode one Tatooine. Fine, but from the get the fuck out of there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, well, he's associated with Jabba as well. Like, I guess um, sure. Jabba's dead, but he would still be associated with the organization. I imagine. Or you collect, like, I, information on a new bounty quest giver, let's say, and get the fuck out of there. But they used that because it was cheap as fuck. Could have just had it not be him trying to take over the territory. I just don't yeah, understand. Yeah, that was a weird choice. Back. They do this all the time. Every single fucking show has a weird choice for the narrative. Baby Yoda is kind of a weird choice, if I'm being completely honest with and you. <laughs> the fact that they brought him back in Book of Boba Fett instead of Mando. <laughs> they like, reset Mando in Book of Boba Fett to do Mando <laughs> Season 3, which... Hey, look, oh, right. Yeah, that ha that was so weird. Skeleton yeah. Crew is being made by John Watts, and it's probably got the best chance 
a big It'll something. have the best character stuff in there, probably. It probably will. Yeah. And to be fair, if anyone out there thinks, like, oh, wow, you're just simping for... I'd be like, no, 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 no. He, he's got to get, like, a two, and, and he beats out the rest. Yeah. Okay? The bar is very, bar very is, low. It's, if they... It's basically, if they have one character... They've done it. One guy is like, hello. A, a character. <laughs> We've seen that in Phase 4 of the MCU as well, right? No Way Home is the best one. It's like, why? It has characters. <laughs> like, that. that's a, that's a plus. That's a plus, yeah. It was in the plus column. Gets you over the line at this point, especially, like, especially in the Disney Star Wars kind of world. What a disappointing tenure it's been. God damn. Oh yeah, it's been terrible. Yeah, it's uh, low after like, low. Unless, Rogue well, One. you're in the general audience. Rogue One, I was thinking high too. After high. For those who are following this as a series, we are very disappointed with the treatment of Kenobi and Vader already. And Leia. And Leia, yeah. Which is, again, not even something you'd expect us to have said if you listened to this with no context. You'd be like, what do you mean, Leia? And it's like, yeah, I know, I know. And then as for the cavalcade of new characters, it's like, I don't They're know. They're all so great. I don't know what's to be said for any of them, really. I don't know what you would talk about with, like, Reva, for instance. I don't know what she wants. I don't know She's a clown why. and an idiot. Kind of like everyone. Really. They're all she's yeah. They're all very bit... stupid. To be fair, she's probably the smartest character in the whole series in terms of she gets, like, except for the girl who helped Kenobi. Those two are the, probably the ones that get the most brains right now because probably, their yeah. plans work, not because they're actually smart. <laughs> like not this... because they're great plans that have been well hatched. No. It's just they're, they're often quite stupid plans. Confident. They just happen to work. Yep, that's that's kind of where I was going with that. Like the plot boosts their intelligence just by a result because you know reva should have been in jail by now or killed um but she's well, not because yeah, reasons <laughs> uh, uh, which will be interesting because this episode will be catching up with her and leia uh don't know where that's gonna go i'm assuming we're gonna get back to tank for for obi-wan you'll be fine you'll be like you were burned by talassian flames they don't really do much damage <laughs> Uh, yes, they burn at a lower temperature than regular fire. They, they, they don't, cold fire. What they lack in singeing you, they make up for in pain causing. They don't like, burn. I, like, I, I, I really like the fist. idea that Vader was looking there. Accident he fucking cucked himself. He accidentally used the cold fire. The cold <laughs> fire. Oh man. Yeah, I was actually gonna bring this up. In the in the recording when he tips over the thing and all the rocks go everywhere, I say like, wait, what is that? Oh, what's that? And, and it's like, yeah, wh why was there just these flammable rocks? And that would, uh, it's so lame because <laughs> yeah. it's just like, you knew the writer was like, right, how do we get him to do the thing to him that he did to him? Well, it's like, there's just some rocks over there that are, rock. can be flames. Yeah. I don't know. Rocks. That's good enough, isn't it? <laughs> uh. That scene was really stupid. The interesting part from what I've heard is that episode three did really well with the pube lick. Episode 4 has not. What I've what heard is that even Star Wars Theory was unhappy with Episode 4. Oh my <gasps> god. Oh right. no, it must that, be that means, that subterranean. Means what if it's good? I'm assuming we're nah, dealing with the kind of bad that's just like Vespa bad, where it's, it's oh, I see. I see why everyone doesn't like this. It's also mm -hmm. bad, but yeah. You think you're gonna get another layer chasing? I'm really excited I hope for so, that yeah. one. It's, it's a staple, staple of that show. Well, we're, we're definitely gonna get our mandated action scene because, man, Ooh, like yeah. that is never not gonna be the way that these shows work. But first, comment showcase. <laughs> Can you believe it? They released fucking like three episodes within five days. It was like, hello, calm down. We we can't get ah. And so now, yeah, we're gonna check out the first one that I thought was quite funny. You got the the famous trailer moment where he says something like, "When the time comes, he must be trained." Like you trained his father. I like how it. they really really expanded that. I oh yeah, they really went into it. Deeply, the, yeah. It's yeah. not like the trailer alone. Something was basically the scene. Yeah. <laughs> it was for the trailer. Or maybe they're just generally incompetent. Maybe that solves everything. If they're all just like, yeah, oh, we don't have any ideas. There's not a discussion to be had, actually. Kenobi is a good character. He must be fleshed out. Like you fleshed out he Luke. Fleshed out Luke. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. This, they're coming for everyone, okay? And they'll even come for them before they were born, if they have to, or after they die. It's funny, in Book of Boba Fett, Boba stayed on Tatooine the entire time when there was no reason for him to do so. But in Kenobi, Obi-Wan leaves at the end of the first episode when there was every reason for him to stay on Tatooine. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of wild. It's and just because they had more money. Yeah, and you throw in um, Mando ends up on Tatooine all the fucking time as well. Because everything well, happens maybe on not Tatooine. Season three, yeah. right? Season three, Center he's going to be galaxy. going on it. Adventures to Mandalore. 
Well, I wonder if Andor will end up on Tatooine. Uh, Tatooine was the shitty backwater world Luke couldn't wait to escape, yet it's now the cornerstone of the entire universe. Yeah. Yeah. True. Just, yeah, and because Luke had to get out of there in A New Hope, it just stuck forever. It it's stuck forever. had the opposite effect of, of what the implications... Because it's like a big theme in, in A New Hope. When you're growing up and you, you go out there and you... You see the world. Tatooine is the shitty starting point of the world We you grow out of it. But no, Tatooine is like one of the most amazing places everywhere. Everyone wants to go to it. All the things happen here. Boba Fett wants to rule Tatooine, or at least part of it. Yeah, it's just a simple, dirty place that you can just put things, and you don't have to worry about thinking of a new planet, or thinking of... Even Mandalorian in the first episode, it had a Tatooine clone planet. And Navarro is Tatooine esque, so that that vibe they really, really just want to keep getting it, keep getting it. I love how when Obi Wan is sleeping and having the flashbacks, he has flashbacks to scenes he wasn't even present ah, in. I noticed that on our rewatch when they when they were uh, premiered. While I was watching those, I'm like, ah, oh, we didn't bring that up. When it feels like something we'd absolutely notice. Like it's weird well, that he's remembering all this stuff when he uh when he wasn't there to remember these things and i think we were just distracted by the potential because it was it was i'm sure that's you know, what happened yeah and we were just like oh how much better this could all be and won't because you be. have to catch that many mistakes like in the moment that they happen when they're just piling up one after another and you're watching it you know for the first time live it's it's really tough to keep them all you know keep it all straight mm. Leia, the being of pure kindness and respect, in regards to the droids, anyway. So much she thanks droids. Nine years from now, calls Chewie a walking carpet. Will somebody get this big walking carpet out of my way? No reward is worth this. I guess her cousin was right. <laughs> I think if they had their way, and it was properly represented, they her qualities are through the roof good. She's like an 11 out of 10 good person. Unfortunately, because they're really bad at writing, her recklessness is like put many people's lives in danger several times, but I guess she's still super insightful. Like, it, it can be a mark against her, but I guess it wouldn't be if we're trying to be fair to, like, the child, but then you just have to conclude, like, yeah, she's just kind of an idiot. Even for a ten-year-old, to be honest with you. A ten-year-old's ability to experience fear should have been enough to prevent her from screwing things up as many times as she has, but, uh, that was turned off. Except for that one moment in episode three, where she said, I didn't do it on purpose. I didn't mean to run away. I used to do it all the time. It wasn't your fault, Leia. It's almost like cheating. It's like, how dare you <laughs> access the correct scene in the middle of all this garbage. <laughs> garbage. Well, there, are, there are a few of those, like when uh, Obi-Wan said that... The Force, what does it feel like? Have you ever been afraid of the dark? How does it feel when you turn on the light? I feel safe. Yes, it feels like that. That was great. I like that. Mm. Yeah. That was 10 seconds of something good in just a sea of awful misery. Which is well, how it tends to work. Pussy. Um, there's usually the like, <laughs> some tiny things where like, just, Unfortunately, that scene does a little bit of damage to adding on why, as if we needed more reasons why um, he shouldn't have let go of the force during all this time, because he needs to be ready to use that in order to fulfill his you know job, his mission of protecting Luke and everything. Mm -hmm. But if that's if... what the force is like, then man, I, it's weird that you would cut yourself off from it. I wonder if they're going to try and justify it, if they are going to um, elaborate on potentially suggesting that Jay, he wants three to be connected left. to the Force. How else are we going well, mean, to do action scenes? If they elaborate and they say he wants to be connected to the Force, but he's struggling or something, you know, um, something for us to latch onto with just why he's disconnected, then I will consider the show much more highly than I already do. Well, I will consider it to be a lot less, less. bad than I currently do. It's <laughs> oh, generous. Like, uh, to me, that's pretty significant. I think they're just gonna, it's gonna be full speed ahead with the plot. And yeah, I don't think we have time. It'd be so fucking funny all. if Qui-Gon doesn't show up with how it's just like fully expected at this point. What Maybe they'll save it for else? season what two, how about that? What if it's a surprise cameo? What if it's, what if it's like y Yarl Poof? I hope he shows up. I, he's, I, my bingo card. <laughs> I like how the Inquisitor orchestrated the kidnapping of Alderaan royalty, the daughter of an esteemed and influential senator, and she isn't immediately executed or imprisoned by any of the other Inquisitors for this. Nope. Mm -hmm. It's the foundation of the entire show, this yeah, problem. Yeah, that's what kicks this all off. Yeah, this is the underlying plot thing that gets him to abandon Luke. These are all kind of the same point, and there's a reason why these are these are the top comment, because it's the show. This is what everyone's talking about. Something that annoys me is that this Inquisitor was able to figure out how to draw out Obi-Wan so quickly, but did Darth Vader never think to do this? He wants him dead more than anyone. No one thought to do this. 
she was the only one. And it magically worked somehow. And it's already too late now, uh, in that the cat's out of the bag, so as we've gone over, the, um, the Organa family is screwed. It doesn't make sense that Reva would think Kenobi would be drawn out by Leia just because he knew Bale. He was a Jedi Master, so of course he knew some sentences, but he wouldn't risk everything for their random kid. The only reason it makes sense is if Reva knows that Leia is Anakin's daughter, there's no way she could know that. But the audience does, so the plot hole goes over people's heads. So steel man this the maximum. Either the information is tenuous and therefore it was an insane gambit and she should be punished, or the information she's found really is damning and that's it for Bail Organa. He's done. But they're not going to commit to either of those. Instead, it's this weird middle middle ground where there was uh, some information, uh, you know. Because remember, the, the Grand Inquisitor's like, and you did this without informing me. Yeah, we, it's we, that weird. It, it's it's a middle ground that can't logically exist because it sits between I have enough to enact it confidently, but not enough to tell everybody. No, to, and not enough to just brain flume bail. Yeah, just show up with the Inquisitors and say, yeah, flash your badges or whatever you do, or just show up in your silly hats. And uh, yeah, just... That was such a fucking mistake, being able to just pull info out of people's heads. Alderaan is a member of the Empire. Bail Organa is a senator in the Empire. If he told the Empire about it, they are obligated to go look for his daughter, even though Diva... Is it Reva? Hired bounty hunters to kidnap them. The other Inquisitors are very upset and considered a rogue action, so technically speaking, the Empire should be hunting these bounty hunters down to the ends of the earth. They're already dead. Wipe yeah. them out. <laughs> and they didn't even know. I'm guessing they wouldn't. They would have assumed that this was an Empire job. I don't even know. Well, yeah, if an if a Inquisitor comes to you, you assume, rightfully so, that this is a, an Empire-sanctioned thing. They Unless... might not talk about it publicly. But because if know. they did realize they were kidnapping a senator's daughter as a rogue mission by given to them by a, a, an inquisitor that's trying to subvert the empire's involvement in it too, I don't know why they would have agreed. You know? Yeah, you you only agree to get out of that room and then yeah. you go and tell every all the other inquisitors like, yo, know, just to be clear, like, is this okay what we're doing? Because this sounds really sketch, <laughs> and um, we're very sketch people. And this is this is a uh, setting off our alarms. All right, I can't resist. I'm gonna have to read this. Okay, so oh, this boy. is from the Star Wars Kenobi subreddit, which, by the way, uh, they had a bit of a they were unhappy with Episode Four that subreddit. So. Oh man. But That's remember, bad. before that point, they were quite happy. They were, they were, you know, they were like, yeah, this is a good show. They were thrilled. Uh, presumably, anyway. So, there's been complaints about episodes 1, 2, and 3 at this point, and, and there's someone posts on the subreddit to say, you know, enough is enough. It's time to put these complaints to rest. You got, oh boy. I'm so tired of people complaining about stupid shit. Spoilers for oh, Kenobi episodes 1, 2, and 3. I know, it regards us specifically. I'm very happy about that. So you got Grand Inquisitor. Obviously he's not dead. He's in Rebels, and Pal An have two stomachs. It shouldn't even have to be said. That's Funny, but the only place funny. you could get stabbed in and die is the stomach. How can, you, how can anybody unironically like? How can you be surprised that people think someone's dead after they got stabbed <laughs> in the chest with a lightsaber? Yeah, this is already how parody to me. This first sentence is hilarious. It's, it's like, oh, it have shouldn't have stomachs. to be said that he has. It two shouldn't even have to be I said have, that they have two I, stomachs. I, I do like that. Like, oh, they have two stomachs. It's like, so they probably have those for a reason, so, right? Like, cows like, have four stomachs. I imagine if you get yeah, yeah, yeah. in trouble. Bro, if you were <laughs> shot in the I kidney see... and Rags was like, we don't need to take Freddy to the hospital, he's got two kidneys. I'm like, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> like, he's been shot. They have their main stomach and then the spare. The I, I, spare. I, I, I it didn't even need to be said that the Poan, like, that nobody knows the vast majority of people who watch Star Wars don't know who they are, have two stomachs. It's like... Man, I bet you that, like, if you asked most people, they'd be like, oh, yeah, he's dead, right? Like, if you asked most people who watch the show. Yeah. I don't even know I why they would buy this. It's like Let's basic... use this logic for cows. Cows have four yeah. stomachs, so you could oh, man. take a light man. stick wow. <laughs> and stab a cow man. three wow. times, man. and you'd be like, well, of oh, course. Damn. Uh, That's another yeah. one, Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. So they probably have those for a reason, so, right? Like, cows like... have four stomachs. I imagine if you get yeah, stabbed yeah, yeah. one of them, trouble what it's almost like you, you completely miss for you say exactly that all of that actually oh did he say that? that's Zara. love right that? there that's true love he's just uh, that, that's legitimately yeah. bizarre because i have been listening um, or i thought i was <laughs> you thought you uh, did that tunnel it's, it's not a straight line it's a secret tunnel close to ground level they can't just make it a straight line 
Reva went over. She knew where they were going because they locked the planet, so the most logical choice was the spaceport. Yeah, but how'd she get there faster? No, there's so much. You have no, to rewind. There's so yeah, much wrong gotta, with this, right? Yeah. So, first of all, yeah, tunnel. It's not a straight line. It's a secret tunnel close to ground level. They can't just make it a straight line. Yeah, they can. I mean, yeah, you in order, can. Well, the thing is, in order to excavate that tunnel, you're digging through, like, rock anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, like. <laughs> So, you know, I imagine that you might need to turn it every now and then if you hit a much harder part, but, but like, if it should be pretty straight, right? <laughs> yeah, you'd want to make it as short as possible, so you have to excavate yeah, the less amount of material. Yeah, yep. It should probably be two straight lines, you know, to get to where, like, A, yeah. for, A to B, you'll get there in two straight lines, I imagine. You don't need any more than that. But f well, the thing fine. Is, the thing is that, um, cows, they have four stomachs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's like the thing I said. It's like, fine, I'll I'll give, you know what, it's fine, I'll give it to you. It's not a straight, yeah, that's fine, that's fine, that's not really the problem we were highlighting. Reva yeah. went over, so Reva went she went outside and did her stupid fucking Batwoman level choreography to bounce over <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> You telling me that happened, and she managed to get to the correct one. It's like, all right, so question, how did she know which is the correct one? She knew because they locked down the planet, so the most logical choice was the spaceport. So you've just highlighted why it's the most illogical place for yeah, them to have Leia go. That would yeah, be really stupid. There's no point in going to a spaceport that's locked down. Why would the pilot be there? The pilot should be in some kind of, you know, black ops area where they launch ships secret from, from the planet. How does somebody get this arrogant with their defenses when they're this bad? Like, the, this is the, so far you've done the wow. opposite of explain yourself I twice. I find it amusing because I think if I read these arguments and then the person was in, in the call, ready to be like, I'm gonna fucking, you know, nail this when you hear my opinion, I'd be like, can we conclude, though, that if you're wrong with your references, that you can conclude these are, these are problems, right? You're not gonna go, it doesn't matter, right? Because you took the time to explain the problems so so that they matter, right? Yeah? They're worth defending. <laughs> Please. Pre presumpt presumably uh. because you're trying to defend the show from being bad or being portrayed as bad. It's just that shit where they, they use continuity to defend and as soon as they realize it's nonsense they're like, actually it doesn't matter, who cares? It's a Star Wars show. And you're like, ah, you fuck. You're cheating. Mm, you little fucker. <laughs> Vader obviously let Obi-Wan go. Oh. Jesus Christ, if he wanted Obi-Wan dead, then Obi-Wan would be dead. Oh. He, wants like a fight. he wants to fight Obi-Wan Kenobi, Jedi Master, not Ben Kenobi, his stinky game dweller. <laughs> what? Kind of funny. <laughs> that, that right there is a, is like such a like, oh, I agree, yeah, he's basically stinky cave dweller he Kenobi. True. <laughs> I like how you just made that up. <laughs> You totally fucking you totally made, made that, that up. up. You just yeah. invented that. You just made that up and you typed I'm just it. Imagining, <laughs> I'm just imagining Vader going up to Kenobi going, Oh, I don't want to kill you. You smell. <laughs> He's the stinky <laughs> cave dweller. <laughs> you can't kill me yet, Vader. I still live in a cave. <laughs> I don't even have a mattress. He wants him to get stronger so he can have the satisfaction of killing him fairly and the closure of knowing that he truly is stronger. And let him suffer. So, I will be interested to know if this holds up when thinking about that scene. Now roll your minds back. Well, Weren't the stormtroopers well, 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 well. unloading on Kenobi as the loaded oh, guy were. tried to say? It's a bit Blindly weird daring. that Vader wouldn't have said, Hey guys, stop. If his goal was to allow Kenobi to escape. And if his goal was to allow oh, Kenobi to escape and get stronger, why drag him through flames? <laughs> yeah, I feel like that would make him a lot weaker, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, you know? I think you're right, yeah. Also, so I mean, damn, like, if you're swinging a lightsaber at someone, if he, like, does yep. a bad block, you can just yep. kill him, <laughs> like... No, you know, Vader, no. Vader is actually ever. irrational and angry. That's one of my big pet peeves in all kinds of media is when people are in fights with swords and like one hit kill potential weapons and they don't realize the gravity of the fact that they're like inches away from killing each other constantly mm -hmm. and then at the end they're just like oh hey nice little da -da 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 -da. like no you, you almost killed each other multiple times if you were off with your block by just a little bit you could have been killed and seriously injured that uh that kind of scene only works with characters who don't particularly value their own lives or grasp their own mortality the other thing i think that's interesting about this is that uh the rest of the series will likely conclude whether or not this is true because he's sad yeah, right sorry. 
he obviously wants Obi-Wan to live, he wants him to escape, and it's like, alright, I'll be listening to every last bit of Vader dialogue going forward to see if you're correct, because you seem to think that this is just completely obvious, but uh, mm -hmm. I'm starting to wonder, because I don't believe for a second that Vader actually wanted him to leave. He was going to get him right up until the loader bot started to drag him away. Bring him to me. Does nobody yeah. remember this scene? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. If nobody came to save him, what was Vader going to do? Just get rid of his lightsaber and be like, all right, I've burned He's going to have to do... Yeah, He'll trade him up himself. <laughs> He'll like... No, I'll, I'll like... tell you. He was going to have to do the the really slow waddle run from the first episode where he's like mm -hmm. pretending uh, yeah, to chase yeah, Kenobi. Yeah, yeah. I'm, but... I'm get you. Ooh, I'm getting closer. Uh, we do like a... Oh, oh. Like in Mask of Zorro, <laughs> he's just training him day after day to get good enough to have a fight with him that he'll win. Like, that's, that's all Vader wants. As we press through, yeah, the indignance in this um in this thread is starting to get a little bit more annoying. Of course he didn't want him dead, because he'd be dead if that were true. This is like, <laughs> I see. You know the guy who tried to stab Ray in the back with his little knife? It's like, of course he didn't want to do that, because it disappeared. <laughs> like, that's... Yeah. <laughs> It's it, you're saying that he didn't. It's it's like well, this is what happened. Therefore, it's good, right? It's like well, no, that's the flaw that's being pointed out. Yeah, this is not a choice he would make. It's self fulfilling his argument. Yeah, yeah. But them seeing each other breaks canon. No, it don't. I felt since. Show me where he said Mustafa. Go ahead, show me. So it's funny, I don't think anybody cites the I felt since line as definitively Mustafa. It's more so people focus on the line where he says, When I left you, I was but the learner. Now I am the master. How could he be saying that when he dominated Kenobi the last time he fought him? Again, it's it's the Han Solo Cthulhu thing. It's like, I just don't believe that this they met. What's the happened? running theory is that they are going to have another fight and Kenobi is going to thrash him. That must be what happens to make it fit with canon. And I find that so funny. Like, you think they're going to try to make this fit with canon? Don't I don't think that there's any interest in continuity, really. I don't get it's, that impression. They should have been more I, specific with their dialogue just to protect themselves from future <laughs> butchering. I haven't seen uh, you since Mustafa. The lava where planet fought, where you chopped off no, my no, limbs no, and I burned. No, <laughs> all they would have to do for that is just have them meet on Mustafar again and yeah. Obi-Wan chop off Vader's robot arm that wouldn't stop them. Yeah, they legit um, would have tried to find a way to break it again. Laser fence. Bruh, would you rather go around or shoot a button that literally makes it disappear? <laughs> sure, he could have gone around, but why would he when it's more comfortable and easier to deactivate it? Why would you go through your back door when the front door is more comfortable? So, here's an apt analogy for this. Let's say that, I don't know, you come back to your house and you realize you locked your keys inside, but you have keys at the back door to open up the back door and you're like, nah, fuck it. And you just kick in your front door. It's like, this is easier. It's easier to get through. This is more comfortable. You I have mean, an option it's, that is it's, paid for. You don't have to destroy anything, and you choose to destroy something instead. Your analogy well, isn't even, similar. like, that fair to the situation in terms of, like, it's more so he could have just opened the door, but he kicks it that's, in. That's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, um, it's like... It's like, I have yeah, a... Yeah, sorry, well, a better it. analogy would be that if you went to the front door and it was locked, but the window was just open for you. Well, like, like, the window was right there. You could just like, jump you, right through it. You, you go to your front door and it's locked, but you don't have any walls and you can just walk around <laughs> the door. <laughs> But you there see, you but go, you that's see, it. Instead that's of walking cool. around, I could just literally take this gun that's right here, and I could just put a bullet into the door that opens yeah. it up so that now I can walk through yeah, And if it. you want a pragmatic reason, it's like it takes more time to do what he's doing, and then there's more alerting of it, the system's being mm -hmm. damaged, I don't know. Like, the, if someone was defending the show, I'd be like, don't defend that, just leave that. <laughs> also, yeah. how do you know that shooting you... it is just gonna magically turn it off? The correct defense for this is, oh, I didn't make much of a difference. Come on, it didn't really matter. Yeah, that's the correct defense, not it was better to destroy the panel and walk through instead of In just fact, walking around it. you might even be able to say, he, he, dude, he just had this big fight, he hasn't been fighting like for reasons, he's stressed out, he, yeah, he, he probably should have walked around it, but, you know, he just thought, fuck it, like, destroy it and lasers it. You know, it, it was a quick thing. Yeah, it's not that, you know, who cares? And you'd be like, yeah, okay, fair enough. But instead, you're like, no, it makes sense, shut up. <laughs> yeah, you're like, bruh. Well, it's not It's, it's not even that. It's like, bruh, it makes sense to destroy it. Like, how can you be so, like, cocksure when you're so wrong? I'm surprised that they're not arguing, That's a lot of people he, free, he only destroys it because he hates the Empire. Yeah, that would have <laughs> been better. To the Empire. That, that legitimately would have been better. <laughs> Like, then it's easier this way. So yeah, these are the episode two comments now. 
How the hell was Kenobi planning on training and protecting Luke if he let his own skills go to complete shit? Yeah. Well, a lot just of people don't think about it. are like, oh, well, he got locked off from the Force. Like, well, that doesn't mean he should be shit with the lightsaber, does it? Because if that was, like, or involuntary, stupid. that he's, like, taken away from the Force, which, like I said, I don't feel has been justified, but whatever. Why the hell is he, like, floompy with his little lightsaber? Like, he's like, eh. If only I had done manual labor for a living, I could have kept my strength up a little bit. Because all through episode one and two, we were constantly asking, like, why isn't he using the Force? Because we had no indication that he'd cut himself off from it in any way. We had, we had no clue. It doesn't seem like it's something that he was okay with. You know, because, like, Luke activates it again in, uh, in TLJ. Meanwhile, Kenobi is, like, desperately trying to access it to save Leia. Especially when, yeah, when he knows what mission he has to do and, like, after describing what it feels like, it doesn't make any sense. And you start to wonder, is it... Because they needed to nerf him? Is that the reason? Oh, well, that's actually him. a good theory. His, his stupidity certainly takes care of that, but it's weird that they would nerf him that way when they know that the Force is something that people like to see. Yeah. Uh, yeah they could just have made him incompetent like they well, did they anyway. could have given him a hard challenge to beat. That's all. That's well, the way you do it. Leia calls Obi-Wan a Jedi. Obi-Wan, don't call me that. It draws too much attention. Also, Obi-Wan refers to her as a princess. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. It's fine. He also <laughs> referred to her as Leia in front yeah. of Stormtroopers. He's a genius. Here. This show feels like missing a long deceased friend. Miraculously, he returns from the grave and you're just overjoyed to hear his voice again. However, as you see the differences in his mannerisms, you begin to suspect they may not be who you thought. However, you've missed him so much that you just don't want to come to terms with the fact that there's a monster masquerading as your friend. <laughs> that's just the franchise. Uh. Yeah, that's all of them. Smart enough to psychoanalyze Obi Wan and her older cousin, dumb enough to say, "Make me float," <laughs> in front of everybody too. She starts demanding uh, him do it. That's such an incredible level of stupidity that you just sort of sit. You're like, "Oh no, why? Stop!" And then he did make her float. Whoa. Leia saying, I don't trust you, even though you broke into a place as being held at great risk to yourself to release me, said you knew my father, and don't you don't try to manhandle me. And at the same time, she says, we should totally trust this random stranger who just so happens to have a solution to our problem, which oh, would yeah. be of incredible risk to himself. Why are you so suspicious, Kenobi? Yeah. She's so nice. smart, though. She's a very smart, yeah, that's right, she's a very smart girl of 10 years old. She's gonna be a great warrior one day. They do characterize her by the time we hit episode 3 as someone who maybe trusts a little too much or something. You're like, oh, okay. But it's like, but she didn't trust Kenobi. And it's like, why didn't she? It's like, well, it created some uh, some tension, some drama, a little bit of a chase. Everyone's favorite moment. This is uh, probably true at this point. The Empire should immediately know yeah. Bail Organa is a traitor. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. we're talking yeah. about that. Really sure. It's kind of over for him. We said like the whole problem with getting Kenobi involved, and this this is more so if he is recognized. You could get away with it if he's secret throughout the entire thing. That's going to be tough. But he is recognized almost instantly because he's terrible at his job. You have um, to work for that. Yeah, you have to show like, that he's actually trying to stay hidden. When they're like, we've got to hire you because you're the one that knows the, the stuff. And it's like, no, that's the reason you don't hire him. That's the reason you keep him the fuck away from you. This entire thing is stupid. In A New Hope, Leia's message starts with General Kenobi. Years ago, you served my father in the Clone Wars. Now he begs you to help him in his struggle against the Empire. That is not the thing you'd say to the dude you had an adventure with when you were a kid, unless at the end of this mess, Kenobi kablows her with a load of what weird forget stuff drug, which would be <laughs> funny, I suppose. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past him. I really wouldn't. No Nobody should disagree with this shit. Her message is weird now with, with this continuity added on. Yeah. It's so distant because of the fact that it implies that she's never met Ben herself or she's got a very thin relationship with him. And it's like respectful. I've seen people say like, no, it's a diplomatic message. It's not like done as a friend. It's done as an important business-like thing. And it's just like, uh, it's a secret hey. message meant for him. Like it would be yeah. more friendly than this. The fact that it says General Kenobi. That has, definitely has she ever, makes it feel more like uh, yeah. Yeah, very strange. Um, referring to a actually. past character. Yeah, you know? like, it, it implies that Bale told her that's his title, because that's what Bale knew him as in the Clone Wars, and he didn't know yeah. him beyond that, really. Yeah. That's why it, it sets an idea in people's heads, and they are fucking with it. Stop it. Put it down. Stop trying to squeeze these shows into every gap that you could find, like this, this brick wall don't need no mortar, I promise. It's mm -hmm. fine the way it was. <laughs> Leave it alone. Stuck so many things to it. A city government employee before the planet gets locked down. All signals in and out are blocked. 20 minutes later, Obi-Wan after the planet gets locked down. I sent a message to your father. So Obi-Wan was lying to Leia, or did the writers just forget the one line they put in to explain why he couldn't be lying to the ship he was tracking? You're in Dayu now. All signals in or out are blocked. I let your parents know you're safe. 
We'll be back in the palace, back to normal by nightfall. That's a really great question because we didn't pick that up, but both of those quotes are accurate. That's what he says. All signals are blocked, but he gets yeah. a message to bail. Question mark. The signal yeah. jammers are as talented at their job as the writers of the show are at theirs. Probably. I, I would need to check the actual context. Maybe he meant like a message before this happened or something. I just don't remember. Well, the no, context. because we comment on it. He, he says, "I sent a message to your father that we, you're safe," and then we were all like, "She's not safe. You're on the run right oh, now." Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he must have sent it after he grabbed it. Though, as the commenter pointed out, I suppose you just have to headcanon that he's lying to her. Yeah, they're fucking up the plot line again, big time. The reason Obi Wan went to Tatooine was because Vader would never go back there, making it the perfect place to hide. In other words, the whole reason Obi Wan is on Tatooine to begin with is because he knows Vader slash Anakin is alive. The people writing Star Wars don't know shit about it. I have heard that apparently the idea is that Vader would never return to Tatooine so as to not go anywhere near his like his roots and to quote unquote bring Anakin out in any way, shape, or form to stay as Vader. Might have bring Anakin out to put Obi Wan in the flames. Well, um, I guess the idea <laughs> being that they really are, like, almost two different modes of operation, but, uh, mm -hmm. with that moment, yeah, I mean, it's, it, yeah. it feels like you, I don't know, maybe some, some people do say that Anakin was gone as soon as he was dubbed Vader by, uh, Palpatine. Uh, so it's a Darth Vader thing to want to burn him. <laughs> I guess so. That's Darth I mean, Vader thing going on there. Because it's funny, because a lot of people are like, uh, he's not the Vader from the OT because he's literally not the Vader from the OT. He's still nine years from that. And it's like, it's been yeah. ten, though. It's been, it's been ten. ten years. Let's put it this way. I would expect now that he's a lot closer to who he was in the OT than yeah. who he was in the prequels. He seems... Obviously. Yeah, he seems I don't a know how petty. much would have changed Darth Vader in like the latter half, you know? I feel like he would have already kind of reached the place that we know he's in. Or close to it, anyway. What if, we, what if they make a Vader more. show that shows actually this does make sense because he becomes... Oh, dude, it's probably gonna happen. Oh yeah, no. seems like it makes sense. Thor Love and Thunder screenwriter Jennifer Caton Robinson has revealed that Michael Waldron, Multiverse of Madness and Loki, is writing the script for an X-Men project. Oh, oh we're um... fucked. Oh, yeah! Man. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, Good job, Multiverse <laughs> Madness yeah. writing. Here's X Men. I wish I would get. I mean, so hey, look, you're right. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, it might be because because they make like an X Men. Uh, they're doing the reboot of the '90s animated show, and it's like, look, all right. If we're gonna, I guess, pick your poison, which is it? Maybe he's right. I want to be. It's all poison. I want to be rewarded for being so shit all the time. <laughs> Well, I guess the thing is, <laughs> Man, as true. far as Marvel is concerned, Loki was a resounding success, as was Multiverse of Madness. I know, as will but likely still. Be the... it's, um... <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because the throne room fight, I think that's the only thing I really complimented probably in my first video. Um, but it's just because <laughs> I saw it once and saw it yeah, quickly. And it looked cool. But uh, yeah, that it's fucking first, scene. First viewing. So embarrassing uh, on repeat viewings. <sighs> And I suppose it makes sense to show that one first, because then it fuels m my attitudes in this one. Oh, oh boy. Star Wars, we have to watch. There's always more Star Wars. Is that who is who is the guy on the screen? Staring at it looks like a combination of metal and Jay. <laughs> <What? laughs> oh, you guys look so tired. That's me right now. That's how I feel at the moment. The guy just screams. Uh, I've, no more Star Wars. I've strapped Friggy in. Presumably both of you. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it must be Please. done. Let us go. Rags, I've never we seen are... a drawing of you in which you look so fucking old. Old. <laughs> old. I look very old and weary. <laughs> That's what Star Wars does to you. So the people think the Grand Inquisitor's dead. The writer Joby Harold says, as you know, we would never break canon. <laughs> so that's all I'll say. Canon is everything. Oh, why would you say that? Uh, <laughs> obviously, the idea there being like he's not dead. We wouldn't. We wouldn't break canon. But the irony of that, like, wait, but all you do is break canon. <laughs> you guys break it constantly. <laughs> you what do you mean? Breaking. You just portrayed his not death in the most deathy way that you basically could. It would have been so much funnier if she chopped his head off, and they were like, <laughs> we wouldn't break canon. He's coming back. <laughs> it's like, okay. Why not? Yeah. You guys are familiar with that other character. We don't see him very much. He's uh, sporting a different hat this time. Oh, that's <laughs> going to be really useful on Tatooine. 
That's true. <laughs> and I, I think this I can respect him more with this one. I can see the purpose behind it. This is it. practical. Yeah. yeah. This has some use. It's also uh, lightsaber proof, that hat. And it's perfect it for Pride Month, I would say. Uh, yeah. Is this hat an umbrella or a parasol? Well, that's a good question because I think the, the way that it looks matches more an umbrella. So maybe it is for the rain rather than the sun. Um, but it might double Which up. It's weird because you think on Tatooine you'd have parasols, not. Yeah, I, uh, you know, maybe, maybe this is a this is a falsehood. Maybe this is shopped, and they put a water one on a man who clearly would need the sun one. Yeah, they meant. Yeah, yeah, that's that the the trickery is they put an umbrella hat on someone who needs to have a parasol hat. I just remember Inspector Gadget the movie. Boo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba Inspect the one with uh, Matthew, Matthew Broderick? Broderick. Yeah, this is his little. Flying hat machine. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, Inspector Gadget, yeah. <laughs> oh, go Gadget Flight! He's cool. I hope we see more of him. My favorite character. You know what? With that, we can finally play the episode. <laughs> this is where he told us to come to. <laughs> oh, yeah. Remember how he was meant to just wait and he just <laughs> left? Oh, by the way, yeah. That's something I, it was probably worth me clarifying in the other recordings. When, when I said, like, he hasn't lied to you yet, I was referring specifically to the fact that he told you to get onto this ship and it would take you to this planet away from, like, the danger of the Inquisitors. And it did. And he's like, not everybody tells the truth, Laia. This is like, he did. <laughs> Literally did. All remaining probes. Oh, remember the three... The three probes they sent out. Three. Yeah, they hadn't the sent them yet when that's their only fucking purpose. Especially Kenobi, which, if you remember, Darth Vader said, Kenobi is all that matters now. Something like that. Yeah. Not running an empire? I don't know. The the empire, man. The empire is really more of a we gotta, side We gotta build more Vader. probes. We only have the three in the empire. You don't wonder how much we would put effort into that if we were making one of these shows. Like, getting the empire to actually look like it had some use and that people cared that it was in power yeah. in a good way. I am what you made me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Show it again. Yeah. <laughs> you should have just shot Darth Vader, honestly. Are you the one I'm supposed to meet? I'll take you from here. They didn't Pops over there later. know when they edited it up that they made it look <laughs> so stupid. You should have just gotten rid of the corpse. To say, yes, the I'm the one you should meet up to. Why with. did why would she not get rid of the corpse? <laughs> Fuck I it, it doesn't matter. Doesn't really <laughs> <laughs> Whatever is a corpse. So just hear uh, what I got here. I don't know whose it is. It's a dangerous part of town. There's just corpses around the place. You gotta be careful. They added the uh the one of them tunnel bot corpses. and um that little Lola yeah. bot into the intro. Are they just uh, changing it all the time? Like uh, I mean I like the renders, they look nice. <laughs> It's a, it's a cool little intro. It's just a shame that what it's what's happened to the series. To it. <laughs> uh, True. I don't like the intro. I hate it. Whoa. It's wrong your opinion. Your arms should have like all those burn bubbles over your, the, your skin and stuff. Oh no, yeah, no, look at that arm. Jeez. Oh, that does look. Oh, and there's good. like a little bit of soot on his face. Oh yeah, they put him a little bit of. Just put, throw him in the back to pool. He'll be fine. Full heal. It's amazing how you guys got him out of there with Darth Vader twenty feet away and all those stories. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he's like, how did you do that? They're like, D don't know. This well, because that happened. was where the end of the set was, so they couldn't go around it because. Also, the episode ended, so they couldn't chase him after that. No, yeah, there's no way. That's true, yeah. Wow. His arm is fucked. Oh, Schnizzle, we had like the rebel so we HQ. Are taking him to the rebels, yeah. Are those rebels or just a spaceport? I'd assume it's the rebels, right? And there oh, there you go. There's gonna be a flashback. Still don't like believe. Oh, yeah, you're right. It probably yeah. will be a flashback. Yeah. yeah. Flash oh, that would <laughs> be so fucking episode. funny. Give us the flashback. Do it. Oh, look, parallels. See, oh, there. whoa. <laughs> That's really clever. So look at his arm. Look at it's gone, but yours isn't. That's <laughs> yeah. your fault. You look pretty good, all things considered. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know how long really he was in the fire. Oh, well, I mean, it can't hurt, right? I guess it can't hurt, yeah. So oh, like look, even Darth Vader's having, even he's nightmares. not having a fun time, yeah. Oh, why am I naked? Oh, dear. We're, we're, we're on Jim Beam. You're Jim Beam. Now. I like Jim Beam. You're on Jim Beam? <laughs> what are you dunking me in? <laughs> oh, yeah, where's oh, Layers? Layers in the butt plug. You can't keep me here. My father is Bail Organa. He's a senator. Man, he's a traitor. I am a princess of Alderaan. I was just backflip into the room. You have no rights here, princess. The Empire doesn't take kindly to Jedi sympathizers. He will come for me. 
So they know. This, this is what I mean. Like, like so they know. Leia Organa has connections <laughs> to Jedi. Like she's done. And you I still see Leia it. is the person who was being rescued by the Jedi. So you couldn't blame a ten-year-old. Surely the Sith. Remember, she oh, plays. Cool. She plays dumb as fuck in A New Hope about all of this. The Imperial Senate will not steal for this. I'm a member of the Imperial Senate on a diplomatic mission to Alderaan. You weren't on any mercy mission this time. Several transmissions were beamed to the ship by rebel spies. How could she do that when they already know that she told? Talks to Jedi. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're right. First transport out of here. Too many people are looking for you. You put us all in danger. I need your help. A smart so person. Every... I'm sorry, but that's not my problem. Well, I wish that were true. How I is he think. arguing that? Leia's... I have no. I don't know who this is. I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hello there. It's me, Mauler, from the editing bay. It would seem our intrepid cast here just missed what is honestly a very quiet line from the scene in question. Well, I wish that were true. She knows everything. Let me play that one more time, but boosted. Well, I wish that were true. She knows everything. So you see, Leia is indeed everyone's problem because she knows about this base, the organization, and all of its secrets. She knows everything. The fucking ten-year-old was told the ins and outs of the highly illegal and dangerous guerrilla operations of the Proto-Rebel Alliance, and her capture means that information is at risk. If only they didn't share all their secrets with a ten-year-old who was likely even younger when this bullshit began. You see, we all assume in the watch-through that she wouldn't have much of any useful information because that would make the most sense. But once again, by talking over the episode, we miss elements that make it so much fucking worse. Okay, bye. I can't lose her. You've no idea what the Empire is capable of. Yeah, we do. Surely you do. They're a huge, massive space army. Why Split once. the hairs. I had a wife once. She got killed exactly by the Empire. We tried to hide it. And the Inquisitors found her anyway. Okay, Why can't you just hide it, though, and never use it? So I know exactly what the Empire can do. The Empire fucking slaughtered ma loads of children. This is not a surprise. Like, that. Look, if you want my help, you got it. Why? Oh. Why what? Did you I thought he was... Oh, okay. So he, I oh, thought he right. was upset well, and saying the Empire, helpful. we can't beat him. I didn't expect you to just flip room. like that. Okay. You don't Water need room. to make your episode 40. You can make it longer. You can make it longer, you know? yeah. like, This is streaming. You don't need to make it. You, you could have had everyone explain what she means to him and how Wait, much... Wait, so he's got it. They've got a map of the Inquisitor base. Okay. <laughs> Today. That's helpful. No, they just said they didn't know how far down it goes. I think. What is this? Is this just like a, a picture from they the outside? They, they took. We need to find a way inside. Oh, well, we're not soldiers. Those speeders are for hauling sewage. She's ten years old. That's ten not an excuse, Ben. <laughs> that doesn't change any of the facts that she's ten. I'll go with him. I have officer clearance. Is your cover still intact? We'll find out soon enough. No, 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 no. We'll find it is out. impossible we'll for your cover to be intact. Impossible. Oh, no, there's no way. It, it was You're a stretch when she first arrived back at the town with Kenobi. It is impossible yeah. now. It's gone. So we're just going to, to, to the space immediately. What? Uh, oh, he's using the oh. force. Oh. He's got to practice because he's so bad at it. He's so Obi Wan Kenobi is really shit at the Force uh, now, guys. I just want to know why. Your body's not the only thing that needs to heal, Ben. The past is a hard thing to forget, and you just need time. That's all. Some things can't be forgotten. I'm glad you were able to share that nugget with him. We, you know, the you relationship that these characters have built up is just so meaningful. This is what I mean. They've was, been through so, so much. For the, was he not the training, reason. like, to make sure that he was ready to fight if he needed to? Didn't they have that scene in, like, Rebels when he, like, destroys Darth Maul, like, in an instant because we he was so prepared for, like, anything? Dude, at the end of the season, he'll get a big boost. Why gone? Right, Reaver. so that's Everyone. after what, yeah, right, okay. What do you think that she could tell you? <laughs> oh, wow. They ripped it off the wall. They didn't just take a picture. Maybe you shouldn't have written all these names on the walls when you were exactly, there. Exactly, yeah. That's what I brought up in the episode. Yeah. I was like, oh, shit. It's like a ledger of everyone who's moved through here. He died. He burned to death on Mapusa. Mapusa. <laughs> Jabin and Mapusa. Left him. <laughs> if you tell me where the path is, you can go home to your family. This can all be. I mean, you bumped into this woman next to a dead guy. Like, come on. Also, aren't you evil? It. What would she know about any of this? Yeah, what, yeah, what would you expect her to know? She's 10. How much would they tell her? She knows everything. 
Why don't you just use the force you to extract just knowledge from her? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> damn it, Jay. That's right. You could just do that. Well, the thing we were bitching about before we watched this episode, and it's already a problem. Yeah, but Leia. Wait, show it. Show it. Try. Show it. Try and fail. Do she it. should try. Yeah. Man, that's, that's how no you know one here. Oh well, well, I was yeah. about to say she she control? might be able to resist it, but then I was like, but she's ten though. Did, like. Do they not have like air traffic? You can just show up space? here. <laughs> yeah, like up. you can just show up here at the base. Yep. At the oh uh, well, I guess her well her clearance is still intact. Maybe someone checked and they're like, yeah, you're good. You can still come. I'm so glad you survived. We found the squad that you were. They were all dead. dead. They were yeah. all shot in the back. There's literally yeah, that's nothing for her to actually back. have to clear past. Are you serious? This looks like <laughs> something. Hey, he asked for identification. There you go. She's fucked. Without clearance. I have Finally, see. Now, please. You're done. Yeah, it's over. There I The squad was killed and you're missing. Yep. Uh oh. Okay, beeping. Yeah, nice red. That's not good, I imagine. You've confirmed you have a face, you can pass. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a problem? You, you look very nervous. Oh, yeah. well, no, I guess not. No, oh, this guy has an evil Huck's face, too. Motherfucker. This isn't your sector. I can't let you through. And you are? I am the lead security on this level. Then I'm your commanding officer, and you will address me as That doesn't sir. mean anything. Yes, sir, you can't course, come through. Perhaps I should just inform the Grand Inquisitor of your insolence. What? No, you have protocols. That's not, that's not insolence. What's that's the point just, of having a rule? If that's a thing, so then why did he even bother what? stopping her at all? This is so stupid. It's more a high, just anyone like, wear a high-ranking uniform and be like, I'm in charge of you, let me in. Yeah, yeah exactly. why bother with any of it? What was that? This that was nothing. Why even have the scene? Why even have the scene? Just let her get To make through. us feel that she triumphantly managed to silver tongue her way past it. But it's like, no. The scene would be even more tense if uh, she accidentally referred to Leia halfway through. Oh, that would yeah. really make the scene. <laughs> oh, man, he's just going for a big old swim with these fish. Are you? <laughs> we hey, joked about that the... in the last episode. We joked about what he was. We, we did, it, yeah. Exactly. Man, can you imagine Send one of those fishes just decided to swim by? Like, what are you talking about here, buddies? <laughs> like, what's going on, guys? Just imagine Obi-Wan swinging, swinging by. Like, <laughs> Send out the probes. <laughs> That's actually a good point, Rags. How deep is he? Because, like, it's not just about air, you know? Like, it's... You didn't bring goggles. No. He's a Jedi. He uses the force to reduce no, pressure. Well, do not, don't I don't like that little creature. I don't, I don't, I'm not fond yeah, of it. Yeah, it looks like he's a spooky anus. It reminds me of the yeah, barnacles in Half-Life. Yeah. I was about to say that too, yeah. <laughs> I love the spooky starfish. He didn't shoot. That's good. Oh, oh you drowned him. <laughs> did he, did he drown him? He's wet. Yeah. All right. I guess. Also, no, no he's cameras. Wet. He's just, he just can't move when he's wet. Oh, oh there you go, yeah. Okay, she's trying. Okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. You can't do shit all that would be impactful because it would fuck with cannon too much, so... Yeah. yeah there you go. Yeah, she's strong-willed, there you go. And you, you have no training. The more training. Why? Why? Why would she I'm have that? Different. What? This is the second time. What? You can see that, yeah. what, Why would... What was it... What, what was what, it what was trying to do? <laughs> what, what was, was the plan? plan? Please destroy this little fucking droid. Think like a writer. Why would this have happened? I had a droid when I was younger, too. It was taken from me. Like everything else. Parallels. Yeah, she said, I had a droid, too, when I was younger. No, oh, okay. I think that's going to be relevant in mm -hmm. for something. What are they keeping down there? Why are you whispering weirdly over there? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> 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 Just keep heading north. What Super up? Droid. I'm a just like. It'd be funny if we were playing like music. <laughs> He's just hanging out in the hallway. She shouldn't have <laughs> been able to keep that droid, and it shouldn't have attacked her like that. But no. Nope. What was it planning to do? Bonker on the head? Like. Oh, he's a, he's a higher rank. Uh oh. Come with me. If you're suspicious enough. To do this to yeah. somebody. Wait, whoa, was I heard attacking like, I, him? What? I heard a sound what of like a punch. Tyler, can you hear me? I did too, but like. Closed right before I wanted to check it out. That's weird. I'm gonna I'm just open this <laughs> door. Yeah, wouldn't it just open I'm the door? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it with the closed doors in me. Okay. Yeah, there uh, it is yeah, again. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, wow. Right Whoa. here? Like, they, they're like two oh meters God. away. There's, there was a bunch um, of people. If he screams yeah, once, he's, you're it, done. I think it's enough that they were making those noises. You'd turn around and yeah. be like, what the fuck? How did those yeah. two not see him? He was standing right there. Uh, is he not going to very long hallway? Because they were out of shot. Right, how did they? How That's is this right, happening? There's right. people right there. <laughs> And then the oh, Jewish sitting wow. extra was like, right, so I guess your ID is cool. Is your ID cool?
Oh, I love that. <laughs> Did you hear my voice come through the radio there? Okay, but why wouldn't she be speaking more? Yeah. Why wouldn't she be saying, Ben? Maybe they're hiding behind these things. I guess he's turned it off, maybe. Oh, oh it's just like in a new hole. Over there. What was that? That's nothing. Nice. Let's go for a little jog. I'm so, I'm so glad the plot allows him to have the force when he needs it. It'd be funny if it's like, oh shit, I dropped my phone, hold on. <laughs> he goes back and grabs it. Is everyone just gone from this room? It's just her now? So he's just like, chilling out, just behind no, that look, wall. No, look, there's this guy right there. That right there. That's and the people. one who was next to her. So that's three now. I still now. don't feel that this is bad it. enough to turn off normies. You know like, I'm waiting for the thing that turns off the people who were into the show up until now. Yeah, she's oh, strong Jesus. enough to cut out the me. Inquisitor from her mind, this untrained 10-year-old. Yeah, so she's got to convince her the regular way. Tell me where they are. I'll have to tell my father first. But that's okay, right? He said we're all on the same side. Nice try, princess. I hope you like pain. I'll never tell you where they are. You will. You're ten. They're gonna start doing terrible yeah. things. Yeah. Oh no, the yeah, I mean, room. Oh, uh, it's the Han Solo little yeah. thing. We don't have a child-sized torture table. We need. <laughs> Yeah, we're just gonna have. <laughs> don't worry. No, don't worry. It'll Man, still when, hurt. Like when you guys drag the screaming child onto the torture device, do you ever wonder about your jobs? <laughs> like... Oh, they've got Jedi frozen in Ooh, that no I guess. Man, my first question would be: Can I free them? Just yeah. Are they dead? He looks very sad. It's a tomb. Tomb? Oh, he said a tomb, but it's probably dead. You are gonna I don't, I don't know. think that he's had enough time to confirm that. Yeah, I yeah, thought they were know, first. He just got there. What are you doing? Maybe he knows what that the goo is. Embrace the empire. Okay. We're gonna hurt you badly. This is a fucking child, but okay. I'm not gonna kill you. I'm just gonna hurt I you. I think he's gonna see someone he recognizes. I don't know who that is. If that's anyone. Uh, maybe someone from the Clone Wars. Is maybe. Are they gonna redeem this lady? Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, she's doing what an evil person should do, but, like, she's evil. <laughs> <laughs> they let him keep his little hat! Hey. He kept his hat on! So that you know Wait, it's... Only... I need a distraction. Just do it now. I... Thanks. Um, thanks, Kenobi. <laughs> I can't believe these guys are just here. Somebody help, I'm sorry, Leia, I really am. Fuck off. Wait, what is this? Yourself. What? You did this to yourself, the ten-year-old. I was told it cannot wait. How did you do that so fast? You were just here? Because yeah, right. she must have called them to say that, but like still, that was fast as hell. Also, wow, this is risky. I was stationed on Mapuza when the hunt began. Ranking officer. Qualifications for discharge. That man. Suspicious. Well, I... Unless, of course. Yeah, exactly. Lying. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's about time. Yeah, it's pretty convenient that you just have this information for me right now. Oh, yeah. come on. Oh, what are we doing? How do you do that? It's just a mood lighting only. <laughs> Where did you come from? <laughs> yeah, why what is was that? Did he cut him in half? That took did a lot of slashes. Well, they're baseball bats with Disney, aren't they? Oh, okay. Oh my god, there really are baseball bats with Disney. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. There's no cameras in oh, here. Oh, wow, all of that's just... They don't even need keys. That just comes off. You yeah, it's yes. just... You just be totally compromised. <laughs> just uh, use the force mind stuff, force flume. Yeah. And it's really why is she? You've been totally compromised. Sorry. You have a gun. Shoot her. Why? Why wouldn't Revan right now be like, wait? Why did you? You lured me. Oh shit! Like, You're right. Why, yeah. Why, why, if if you've out. concluded this woman is evil, then you should be wondering about your prisoner. Didn't admit you're a spy. Oh, that was. Uh, <laughs> no. I spent two years undercover. I promise you. He's on floor. I, I love how, like, it's never acknowledged that when the doors open, there could just be someone looking right at it. Oh, yeah, just, every single yeah, time. Yeah. Oh, Look, how did you miss this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> his face. Oh, his face uh, is like that. Oh, <laughs> oh Aldrich. He's so beep, slow. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Oh, do they have to destroy it or else it'll send a signal instead of it doing that Why automatically? Why would it send a signal right now? Because this is Star Wars and it's dumb. Take her to interrogation. Oh, just do it if here. It yeah. Yeah, there it is. It's him. What? How the fuck did that happen? Well, you know. Well, so she should. She's done. Oh! What? 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 what?
man. This Why did you throw? Was there was a no, third person in that room. There was. Where did the third person go? <laughs> Why are you all behind? Just missing. Why is he good with us again? All of a sudden, I'm so confused. Wait, well, because he needs to be for the plot. Wait, oh wait, wow! The wow! Shot the oh god! Uh. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> the most incompetent organization in all. Oh. Of, all of fiction. Uh. You might, you might want to run. Just saying. Nah. Yeah. No, that would look less Hi. intimidating. Hide where? Uh, where? Well, well, also, I just sits right ah, next to so, him. So, of to be course. fair, they're shooting to kill on both of these guys. Yeah. I just realized, is that not... Is that the plan for the Empire? Wait, sorry. I, 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 too much stuff's happening too quickly. Did, was something cracking? Yeah. The, uh, yeah one of the why, why did that start cracking? Because a uh, uh, shot was reflected, reflected, into reflected a blaster. Yeah. One blaster bolt it. has compromised just the entire run. window. Just run away. Run. Just run. There's no point in doing this. Dude, if the place is that fragile, oh, you up. guys don't want to open that. Don't open it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Seal it. He's really good at the force. Wow, yeah, he's a real good force yeah, user now. Now, yeah. All that little lug. Imagine the, the pressure that's there. Oh, he's got the breather thing, so I guess he's going to let the water in. That's good. It's gonna. I know it's gonna shoot the other way. Yeah, Kenobi, you won't be able to outrun this, Man. by the way. <laughs> Aim better. Oh, he can do it while deflected this wow. stuff too. Oh, okay. So he's gone. Wait, 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 what? No, that didn't make any sense. Oh, uh, man. That didn't make any sense. Yeah, no. That's he broke wow. all the other glass as well. That's. Also, I guess these doors are rated. Oh, they're no already dead. Oh. Yeah, I, I guess, guess they, they died. They can't wait. show them suffocating. That would look too bad. Also, those doors aren't, aren't on equipped glass. to be. Think that they would what? Be. what? <laughs> oh, he's so he's so expensive. What? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. No, no way. He's a bearded trench coat wearing <laughs> captain. Fuck off. Four legs. He's got four <laughs> legs. Look at that. Oh my god. This is no, actually no, really. No this is really happening. Wow. Oh, thank <laughs> fuck. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I like how there are still stormtroopers like walking around. Yeah, they're like, wait, what's going on? What? <laughs> You're dead. You can't That's Obi Wan stop Kenobi, by the way, everybody. You can't stop this many shots. Oh, oh, come on. What, what wow. A, what? The come timing on, on this. Wow. Uh, 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 then. They flew very close to those doors mm. in the back. I feel like yeah. they, yeah, there was how no they way they turn around. Yeah. yeah, well, of course, none of them could shoot. Why Why would they? Why wow, the you shot the mouse droid? Why would you oh. on that? Go, Reva. She's the only person that can survive the scene, so. Where, where, where are you headed? Where are you what, running? Man. It's a bit of an awkward run. Why is it so wow. tiny? Use a force. Is she gonna jump onto it? Oh no. no. Wait, how can you block those massive <laughs> blasters? You can't block those Wait, with a lightsaber, right? Why, why is it stationary in the air? Oh my air? god, that looks so really stupid. <laughs> Wow, Holy okay. Fuck, Sorry, Wade. Also, you I thought we got another Ray! 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 Holy like no shit, gun. man. <laughs> Anti air cannons. Oh, you look bad. They, mm. I, what was this? <laughs> it's embarrassing. Come on. God damn. <laughs> what are we. Hey, so I want you to use all of those. Oh, Peter. <laughs> Here we go. Peter. <laughs> what the yeah, fuck her up. Would brain tolerate your weakness? No longer. Are you following them, them the speeders? Yeah, send fighters after. There are loads of fighters docked to the station. That's a good point. I, I put a tracker on the ship soon, the location of the network, and Kenobi will be ours. So that, that's and a lie, be right? Be that's a lie. Oh, uh, well, we didn't, we didn't the, see it. Oh, right, on she the droid, have... right? Oh, yeah, no, no, that's it. That's it. Yeah. You've got it. That's it. That's the reason she got the fucking droid. That's the reason. But surely, like, he's still mad. You failed. His orders, 
to her explicitly what Obi Wan. Kenobi is all that matters now. Mm. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't need a tracker if you used all those ships you have to just fucking follow them. They're right yeah, here. Why, why even bother putting a tracker on her when you had her in an, in the middle of a secure facility? Like, I didn't yeah. send more ships after them. Did you why want would... her to escape? Did, did you want that to happen? Was that I assume plan? they won't even be checking her for the potential of trackers as well. I just realized that's the New Hope thing that Vader does. You're sure the homing beacon is secure aboard their ship? I'm taking an awful risk, Vader. This had better work. But they've made it so that Reva came up with that plan earlier than him now. Are they implying that that's where he got the inspiration for that? Was Reva? He's I mean, not... it's the exact same plan. Oh, Jesus Christ. Except hers requires more casualties and, like, now after all. idiocy. <laughs> yeah. Where's Wade? Man, I'm really feeling the loss of Wade. Yeah, yeah Wade. Know. He was my <laughs> favorite. Oh, yeah, poor Wade. That guy. <laughs> I'm glad you screamed his name so I knew what to say uh -huh. when I addressed oh, him. Oh man, Wade. That guy. We, Wade and I, we, we've been through so much. Wade and uh, Wade and us. Yeah, we just... I, I think we're not we're not there yet. What what is the thing that made everybody mad? Because I can't see it. There's got to be something else. I think it was Obi Wan. Getting I think out it was in the, the trench, trench coat. coat. With, yeah, yeah, I think that was too much. <laughs> oh. That's that's Vespa level. I could totally see people reacting to that. Uh, don't talk oh, to me. look at how far we've come. Remember, she was pretty cold to him in episode 2, but in episode 4, oh, they the have Hulk, connected. Yeah. Someone died because of this, us. High five. How can you be showing this and then have her say, like, General Kenobi, you're a friend of my dad. <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, you clearly just made this shit up. This didn't happen. It's all bullshit. They put a tracker on you or anything? <laughs> oh. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, he's even got <laughs> evil lights! Oh, oh, evil right. lights! <laughs> yes! <laughs> In order to make him a tracker, you have to swap him to evil robot. Uh, oh, dude, I would have been surprised. Like, the original probably had it so that they just showed the droid, then someone there was like, no, we gotta have a red no, light on it. On How will they know it's evil? evil? How will they know it's the evil, droid. yeah. That was terrible. That was awful. Oh, yeah. I can't believe how yeah, much man, they actually managed to accomplish worse. in terms of stupid, though. Like, well, this is the thing. Would you say this or three is worse? Damn, like that trench coat thing. Uh, yeah, that's the... Uh... <laughs> that was funny as fuck. I'm very happy that that happened. It was really funny, yeah. But it, was, it was hilarious. They had the really balls serious. to actually film that. That is incredible. And Here's what I'll say. Like, and it didn't, there was no reason for it to be that dumb. I think in terms of which is worse, I think three is worse for characters. This is worse for logic. All they had to do is get like a stormtrooper with like a big equipment bag and have then yeah, Obi-Wan wearing exactly. the stormtrooper's armor I and can't Leia believe in I'm the bag. It, but remember, it would be so easy. It wasn't it, they put like a box on top of BB-8 to cover him up in, in TLJ. That was still kind of stupid because it's just a moving box, which doesn't really make much sense. But you're right, get some kind of container a bin even and put her in it and put that on Heal wheels like, yeah exactly like like you belong there it looks Sorry. like um austin powers do you remember the when he's 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 on top of <laughs> mini me hello you're right yes it's a good hat very good hat yeah that shit's fucking hilarious. When, I, when would Reva have had an opportunity to put the bug on the little droid? Montage while Leia cut. Also has, but Leia also has the droid, so did she like grab it on the way out? How did she have it? I don't know. Because remember, it's, Reva took it. Think, think about you have the Leia in custody, in prison, everything, and you would have had to beforehand. Put the tracker on the robot, knowing well, not that just the tracker, make it evil. I was gonna say it's, it's, it's more so making evil. it evil than putting anything on it. So you have to make it the turn the robot evil and turn it into the the tracker device, and then you would have to do that under the assumption that someone that would assault yeah. this prison. And be able to leave? Unless she just presented <laughs> as a contingency. But it really seemed like she wasn't. Like, she didn't want them to escape. This is like a last ditch thing. Yes, right? somehow she convinced Vader this was part of the plan, which he should be able to pull right out of her. Well, I mean, he should be able to tell that that's not when it's like, dude, like, did you. What What do you mean that oh, was part of the plan? You yeah, knew but you planned. You planned. Oh, them, fuck. So yeah, that, fucked up to this Why degree. the hell would she have turned it into a tracker unless she did think they were going to escape, which she absolutely didn't? She didn't want them she to did. escape. Exactly, yes. Yeah, so yeah, that doesn't make any sense at all. You can just force extract that information from the light. No, 
Oh yeah, well yeah, you can do that, can't you? And so it's over. This, so there's no reason to. So Reb is done. It's over. Like she's she's finished. Again, she can't be killed because she's not. She's got purpose in this season to she's fulfill. She's still got a couple more episodes left before mm -hmm. she's probably gonna get killed. I imagine she's not surviving this series, but she'll make it to the end. Really think they're gonna try and redeem her still? Yeah. Uh, oh, you do? Yeah, because yeah. I think that he's one of the uh, the younglings that we saw in that opening uh, sequence. Um, so there's got, there's more story there that we need. Yeah, I, I think it's the same get. thing we've said since like episode whatever that she's gonna there's that leak where she, she'll she'll be the one to spare Luke. Yeah. Yeah, she's and gonna... and also we had that uh, that conversation she was having with Leia. Um, like it felt like there was an implication of oh well there's there's more there's more story here that we still need yeah. to tell. They've only got two episodes to tell it, but it's terribly done. But when she's about to start up the torture it looks like the actress puts on a, a face for a moment of like i really don't want to do this um i think yeah, that was... a child yeah. oh no that's what i'm saying it's just well, like you're not doing good enough because she should just not do it at all well because she already committed to a course of action that's reprehensible yeah uh, it's going to be really Several. hard and also she's, ki she's killed lots of people she's done a lot of bad things it's going to be really hard to give her the redemption it's probably not going to be like a full redemption i think it's going to be one of those like oh well you know like, makes a good decision kind in of the redemption. End. Yeah, I think that's what, which, I mean, that's the best you can do. Remember, but, though. Uh, yeah, that's the impression I get. We're told, like, someone, because there'll be comparisons to Vader. Everyone will do that. They'll be like, well, what? you get redeemed. And will be like, okay, oh, she's so. She's doing so much that Vader has done as well. I think I've talked about this in one of the other parts, but um, really going to depend on how she ended up here. He ended up where he was because he got seduced by power and he wanted to save the life of his loved one. And it all drew him into, like, this, you know, Complete understanding and of, of the Jedi trying to take over the world. There's a lot of little things, manipulations, lies, and then a desire for power that is broken by his love for his family. He comes through on that moment. But we've always said he would be tried for war crimes if he was to have made it back to Endor. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Meanwhile, Reva, like, you're gonna have to tell me why she became an Inquisitor, why she is so stalwart in whatever systems they have provided. She seems so on board with fucking killing people. No. She was Kenobi specifically as well, right? Yeah, and we're not gonna have is the time to flesh yeah. her out. With him? Like, Darth Vader still, got six movies. She's gonna have mm -hmm. two episodes at most Except to tell us what- Because remember her being like, I used to have a droid. It's like, okay. Maybe, uh, maybe episode five will be like the Reva episode, the one that gives us all the information. Well, I don't know if they got time though. Like, like I, don't I was going to say, they... Kenobi needs time too. <laughs> well, because mm. episode five will probably end with the, the rebel base getting like attacked. So then episodes, be maybe fight, it'll be, yeah. it's just, we don't have a lot of time and it feels like we've wasted a lot of time and also just not made use of time that we have because this is a streaming show. You didn't need to make the episode like 30 minutes. Oh, there's so much padding for a 30 minute episode too. The amount of time it takes yeah, to... Just in hallways, walking around. Yeah. And, you know? Why do they have a Jedi tomb down there? I don't it's know. Just for, it's just for fucking lols. I gotta put those in. <laughs> You'd think they would erase stuff, them, right? So I can look at the corpses. You'd think they, they want them, them to be removed. They want their culture to be literally zapped off the fucking universe's yeah. history. Why would they keep the bodies on display? It's fucking weird. And there's no one around <laughs> to see it. Yeah. This you is a very it empty station they have there. Yeah, that didn't really go anywhere. The whole. They have. The Maybe frozen will bodies go somewhere. I mean, yeah. it could just be that it's like, look how evil they are. It's like, okay. yeah, because then they had the child at the end, which was like, uh, we already honestly, knew that. I'm surprised they went that. <laughs> I'm surprised they went that edgy, right? Like, because they just to show well, a child's corpse frozen in amber, right? It, it's it's more edgy than they. Uh, like Why would the woman's they use hand the who cut for... off as well? It really surprises me that the one thing they censored was the guy being hanged. Yeah. But I guess that's easier to censor in retrospect. Also, to be fair, yeah, Jay, be one, one could the, argue uh... that these are just suspended in animation, they're not dead or something. Who knows? Well, but yeah, I... assuming they're Imagine... dead is... I don't get it. I for some reason, my could... brain went to... Sorry, no, I, th I think it's reasonable that they could be dead, but you're right. But Kenobi should have clarified that. He should be like, is this... Like, what is the state of them right now? Mm. It may be... Imagine one I... button press released them, like carbonite. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Fuck me, that been the, awkward, um, it? There was that one uh, Mandalorian episode where the they had like some experiment going on. What was that about? Where they had oh yeah, it's like it's like a it's a bait something? for the first order and Snoke and stuff. I think because they were grabbing Jedi DNA. Is that that could be what to, this like, is. Link to this? Well, Ooh, I, they're, they're I, working on I, how to make I, Snoke. Yeah, that I'm could be it. 
kid as one of the younglings in the uh, the opening. Well, well yeah, he's, 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 yeah, he's, that's why they let him keep that goofy ass helmet on him. I was gonna say that's the body. helmet the younglings wear. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, no, no, I mean, I, I'm guessing that there may be like some sort of story that there's still more story there with uh, this character specifically, and probably connection to Reva. That would be that's that would be my guess. It's just we got a lot of threads that are still sort of there that haven't been resolved yet so there's still but it feels like there's a lot more that they need to figure out than the, the time that they actually have to do it we always talk about how pathetic it is how stupid and worthless they make the empire but jesus christ this episode was just a new fresh hell of how can you ever be afraid of the empire anymore you're never afraid of them because they're just the biggest idiots who are totally incompetent at everything well and they've got people saying now that that is consistently the empire they are dumb oh they're not they're not look how many jedi they captured that means they're good at it no <laughs> that was needed for plot reasons so that doesn't count no it was we we're just talking about how they didn't need that for plot no. reasons to, to show all of the amber and with the like Jurassic that's gonna be Park. for reason they're gonna say in like in S mandalorian season three finale that a snoke is being made as a result of all the amber jedi how you even got here without being shot down kilometers and kilometers yep. back is astounding there should be this is the hq of the inquisitors rockets yeah yeah like you shouldn't be able to get within orbit of this planet without a million sensors going off. This is ridiculous. You, and they just fly in. Like, can you guys do me a favor? And because like I don't remember hearing basically any of the dialogue when they were planning on taking out the Inquisitor base. And I'm curious if there's any nuggets in there. Is Vader there? We don't think so. Our intel shows he's still on his ship. But lucky. He's close. Yeah. Your intel. So you have intel that can tell you where Fortress Darth Vader Inquisitorius. is. It's impenetrable, Wade. How far down do you think it goes? Oh, wait. I have no idea. It's impenetrable. It's they said it's impenetrable. Yeah. I don't see any shields. That's because no one would be stupid enough That's because this isn't the real oh, thing. Oh, no. What was that? Oh, what's so what's there was? are no shields because people would be too... It, it, it would be stupid to even try and attack, so there's They no don't shields. have shields because oh, oh, nobody okay. would be willing to attack it. <laughs> what? That's not uh. how this works. That's not how military targets work. No yeah. one would be stupid enough to attack her army. We won't have defenses that's not Everything a self-fulfilling prophecy shields. Wow. So many, we have so many soldiers but fucking, we don't need any guns because nobody oh, would attack oh, somebody yeah, because the idea is, had shields. oh that's so painful oh, <laughs> uh, those speeders don't wow. have shields no by the way the, the two pilots uh oh when he says God. like oh yeah fly in, fly in with you, your ship to come and pick us up they say that they're like not soldiers and they don't know how to fight well, it's like man you're good at it like when you so those, those guys weren't expected to come then by the sounds of it doesn't sound like it yeah yeah it's just a miracle that they decided to come and arrive at the last okay so it is what i thought then yeah <sighs> This is insanely stupid. None of this yeah. makes sense. There's no shields because no one would be dumb enough to attack. Well, idiot. What if someone tried if to attack? If they don't have shields, people will That's attack it. Yeah. When someone did come and attack, they were incredibly effective. <laughs> like, what if someone just like bombed it and then left? Well, also, apparently they don't even have any air force floating No, because around. nobody would be dumb enough to attack, would they, Mel? <laughs> uh, you see, if we have this you extremely... Yeah, it's really simple. If we have an extremely valuable military target and it has no shields, no anti-air cannons, no orbital defenses, no radar, no one will let... Attack it. Remind because they'd be so intimidated. To flood the lower <laughs> yeah. levels was a single confidence. blaster bolt. That's yeah. that, that was actually something, yeah, I wanted to talk about that. So, mm -hmm. like, you know in, in a lot of movies when they're in, like, spacecraft and there's a gun, a lot of characters will just be like, we can't, don't fucking shoot. Because if it hits the hull, like, you know, that sort of attitude, that's not present at all here, even though it's one blaster bolt to bring down the fucking station. Yeah, plus, mm -hmm. um, like, surely it's this high security station, surely you shouldn't be able to fuck it up with one, one blaster shot. bolt. One shot. And there should be blast shields that should come down the second that, uh, there's yeah, integrity whole, lost. Yeah, like a spaceship. Once the hull yeah. breach is detected, the next doors, they just, they shut automatically. There, there's nothing that can stop that they have to shut like it's a it's a yeah, mechanical necessity dies. of their design exactly they have to shut off well how absurd as well that like he manages to break it open in such a way that it pours in from all the pressure outside and then it like shows them get hit by it shows it slam the wall and then it cuts to him beginning to run away it's like no you're done you're already yeah, done gg 
Got his force powers and uh, sword skills. They're all back up to top notch. Just like that. Oh, I mean, like, I mean, yeah. yeah. Ten, Very meaningful. Ten minutes before he went to the facility, he couldn't move a little <laughs> plastic <laughs> yeah. nut across the table. Well, look, now he high can pressure hold situation. Okay. That's, that's, high that's pressure the situation. problem, free. You can think of a high pressure situation when Vader was grabbing yeah. you. Yeah. No, I, I, yeah. I, oh, yeah. I thought you meant like the ocean pressure, the water pressure. When you said uh, it's just, high pressure just saving Leia, that's what he cares about. You know, he doesn't care about saving his own life. He cares about saving the child is who was annoying. Wrong, because he's supposed to care about Luke. Yeah, but no, no, no. no, no his own life doesn't matter. And I, he doesn't have like he doesn't have object permanence. He's forgotten about Luke. It's just it's un it's incompetence at every every room. No cameras. Worthless troopers. Um, no one checks anything. No one looks at anything. Let no me one... in because I'm insistent. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let and then nobody hears I... anything that happens with her beating up the captain. That was pretty incredible. I'm just imagining the person who made that Reddit post defending all the things that happened in the previous episode. Like, fuck, please stop. No, please stop, stop it. Why? You're not doing me any favors here. Because, like, dude, how fucking, like, validating would it feel if you'd well. had an argument with that guy the last week, and then this week you see the fucking trench coat scene, and you're like, I told you, it's dumb. As, it's Reddit's a dumb. As we can see... Or, uh, Darth Vader's quite upset <laughs> that uh, Obi Wan escaped. He's pretty unhappy with that. Oh um, shit! Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Imagine. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so he doesn't want him to just run the fuck. Yeah, he was no. wrong. You're right. He was wrong. That's um, hilarious. What, what, actually. what did you say when? Uh, obviously, he let Obi Wan go. Jesus Christ, man. The, the man. Awkward. Holy huh? shit. Weird. Because obvious. in this scene, obvious. he was fucking obvious. pissed as hell that Obi Wan left. How about that? Hmm. Oh, so weird. Well, imagine how much more angry he would be if he saw, like, security cam footage of a, a four-legged trench coat waddling away. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, like he wouldn't. This, well, this no, is Jay, how they escaped, he, is it? No, he wouldn't see that because there are no cameras in this extremely no, high cameras. security military I understand military that, facility. but imagine in a world where there were yeah. cameras in this high security facility. It's a little bit odd, actually, that they've marked it like, oh, Hayden Christensen's back. It's like, we've gotten very little of, like, that part of the yeah. performance. Well, kinda, I, in the it doesn't matter, time, we can right? still market it like that. And ooh, isn't that well, exciting? I guess it's, Watch just, the um, it's just, I'm wondering what that, I'm, I'm kind of reading into it. It's like, so what does that mean? It means we're probably going to get like a big talking, like they're probably going to have a long conversation. Wow, not a long conversation, relatively long, maybe a couple of minutes, like actually face to face. I could see that happening. I guess I'm just, I'm at this point, like, I'm not, I, I, I mean, I'm not invested in this story. I'm just trying to think about, like, oh, no. what they're going to do and how. The best place to bring Hayden Christensen back is, unironically, post-ST as a, as a ghost. Yeah. Well, yeah. no, Clone Wars. That, or Clone Wars. I guess it's just you need to de-age a bit. And, you know, they look pretty good. Like, both the, guy, the, the guys we need, so... I'm sure that it wouldn't be too much pressure to get them to just look. Obi Wan can almost get away with it with just, I think, basic makeup. I don't even think he'd need to be. Oh yeah, age. he's. I mean, the beard takes care of half of it anyway. Plus, in Revenge of the Sith, he was almost certainly playing younger. Oh, sorry, older than he was, right? Yeah, I think so. Mm, oh, yeah, maybe a little bit. Well, you'd have to be right because he kind of ages super fast in 19 years. Otherwise, I would say I think this one takes the cake for me as the most parody-like scene that we've come across. There's a lot of them, but like that one. Uh, yeah, it's like. It's a meme. You feel like it's something that a shit Family Guy cutaway would make a joke about. Yeah. That's how it played out. He's like, hey, you and the four-legged man, get over there. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's not even a clever joke at this point because it's so laughable as a concept, you know? And, like, but all the jokes you can make about it, they did it. It's, it they mm -hmm. literally did it. You've got eyes everywhere. Oh, oh what a shit show. It actually may have been less conspicuous to have her just walking next to them. Yeah. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Almost certainly, actually. Because, I mean, how many of these people well, even know what like, she looks like? The Metal Gear Solid thing where it is just, like, you've got the box on, like, on top of your head, and you're just walking next to them. Unbelievable. I mean, and plus, you know that she's broken out, the sirens are going on, you think that yeah, no exactly. one enters or leaves. How, how can you even get outside? The no siren one is, is coming a total, or going. Like, Garfield, I wonder who that's for moment, of like, oh, there's a guy yeah. with four legs walking past me, I wonder what that <laughs> siren oh, is about. I, I thought you meant it was for the audience, because it's the siren noise. Mmm... Mm. I remember when they the put that Because the siren is clearly not treated like it's a, an actual siren. No one seems to be really in... They're all sort of just you know, wandering. Like, yeah, everyone's just sort of around, going like extras, wandering around in the back of a scene, like at a carnival or a fair. They were just kind of wandering. How incredible, by the stuff. way. You're like, how did, how did those, those ships get in? It's like, well, we don't have shields. 
<laughs> why? Well, because no one would attack. Play. Well, damn it, they attacked well, us. Why did, <laughs> fine, but why didn't we shoot them down with our many, 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 many cannons? Well, so like, we don't oh, have we don't cannons. Have yeah, because why would because anyone no attack would this be place? Stupid, uh, yeah. I don't know. Well, what about the orbital defenses? The the the, the fleet well, like, up above. If it's completely undefended, why would no one? Why has it got that reputation? No one would attack it. That's why exactly. it doesn't have any defenses, which is why no one would attack it. Has it has a shit ton of stormtroopers in it, though. Yeah. Wow. So it almost seems uh, like ripe for orbital bombardment. Just like sending a gunship or like the the smallest what? gunship that could take it out. It's just a bunch of bombers. Yeah, it's just a bunch of infantry sitting there on with on an unshielded. Pla oh, all right. Let's just hit it from Who space. Who would be That's stupid great. enough to attack? <laughs> Oh, it's completely stationary. Episode four, oh, right. everyone. Best so far, easily. Ooh. Undoubtedly. I mean, it was the funniest. It was the it funniest. Was, it was absolutely well, yeah. the funniest. It's hilarious. Comedy Without, a doubt. Without a doubt. Who knows what we're in for for five and six? Pain. Oh, I think we're in for pain. I think the next couple <laughs> episodes are going to be, like, really painful. Suffering. Yep. Thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye. Yeah, oh, no, 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 no. oh Jesus! Oh, okay. Jesus. oh my God, Jesus! It drove <laughs> for you to a seizure. <laughs>